Hey everybody, it's Dad the Red, and welcome back to Highway Blossoms. All right, then last we left off, Marina just said that Mar uh, Amber here is way cuter than Mariah. Um, and now, the response, or just the reaction, I'm guessing, immediately, probably. There you go, yeah, just the response. Time stops, and so does my heart. Everything feels like it's frozen. I look over Marina, but she's looking at the canyon and not me. Dead silence. Still just a couple of inches away. I gulp, swallowing the lump forming in my throat. You said that before, I think. You're cuter. Oh, hush. I'm trying to compliment you. I fall silent for a moment. I'm not sure of how to respond. You know, back when we first met... I meant what I said about you being cute, too. She giggles again. I'd forgotten about that. As if on cue, a light breeze starts up, causing her hair to billow out like a cloud. Her side tail, hastily bent, and looks as if it might come undone. Finally, she turns to look at me, her eyes wide and lips glistening. My palms are dry and my knees tremble. Gulping yet, yet again, I cross the short distance between us in a half-step, leaning in and... There you are! Yeah, yeah. Someone's about to die. Mariah's shrill voice cuts at the moment, rupturing my eardrums in patience. I pull away, and Marina has already turned around to face them. The trio appears and expect out of the darkness. You let this behind. Why do you care? We tried to, at least. You were the ones who dragged us out of here, and I just expected you to stick around. Counted us into submission, we're in the shoulders fall. Back off. I wanted to get to the sunset without you uh, sighing about it. Whatever. Well, it was a time either way. <clears throat> Come on, we're going back. Mariah uh, lopes off down the path at a brisk pace. Marina tats her back to, photograph to ph photographing anything and everything. But the low light means the pictures won't show up. Joseph and I trail behind at the end of the party. How's the sunset? Sighing, I pull ahead. Right now, even Joe seems like, seems like a little too much. It was okay. Oh yeah, it was okay. Nothing compared to the one caught in its light, right? The campsite has cleared up a lot since uh, uh, we, since, since I guess we said this morning. It's still pretty full, but at least it's not claustrophobic anymore. A few campfires eliminate people left behind. Plus, the smoke keeps the bugs away. All five of us huddle outside my RV. The goodbyes have taken a while since Marina has to hug everyone at least twice. And then she says something to reunite the conversation and the whole process starts over. Finally, I grab the door handle and signal we're about, we're about done. Marina automatically begins the final round of hugs. So, what's next for you guys? Maybe not. Back to pouring over the journal to see what we can find. Once we locate it, it's straight off to wherever. Joseph heaves a heavy sigh. No rest for the weary. You don't get weary, slacker. You get motivated. Damn. Ooh. You should put that on a shirt. Would you buy one? Nobody would. <laughs> Damn. Then no. All of us, even Mariah, laugh a little. Finally, Joseph puts his armor on Tess and starts to lead them away. We'll get, you, we'll get out of your hair for the night now. Staring on the path, they walk towards their motorhome. Wait a sec. They freeze. Marina looks at me too, curious. Next piece is almost definitely at Arches in Utah. I hear Marina gasp, but I don't see it. Joseph and Teth both look to Mariah, their profiles barely visible from the flickering campfires in the distance. Mariah nods stiffly. Thanks. It's probably the first time she's ever said that word. With a wave of her hand, she turns and they finally leave. That was interesting. Marina and I both watch and they vanish out of sight. Then Marina squeals. I'm so proud of you, Amber. And shock, that was super nice of you. And... Well, yeah, plus you've all sent a date to a goddamn shit ton of rock arches. 
wasn't much. This one's pretty easy to figure out when you take the time. I probably saved them half an hour at best. Still, it's a lot that counts. Why'd you do it though? Someone ought to take care of them after all. <laughs> I look away, pretend to scratch an itch on my cheek. Not that bad. <laughs> the solemn loneliness of the open road extends far past my headlights into the dark. A cool wind breezes through the cracked window and tosses around our hair as jazz ex as the jazz experimental track crackles into speakers. With a torn screech, Miranda sinks further into her seat. She looks miserable. Uh, do you want me to turn on the music a little? Oh no, I'm fine. It's not bothering me. She tries to disguise the glint of agony in her eyes by speaking in her usual peppy tone, but the pain still seeps through the cracks in her voice. A hollowness anchors down on my chest. I don't try burying it. The last time someone told me everything was fine, I ended up losing them. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but I don't want to risk it. Seriously, are you okay? No, really, I'm fat. Don't lie to me. My sharpness takes off guard and she shifts her gaze. I don't care. This could be urgent. <laughs> Sighing, she hangs her head. Well, yeah. I kind of need to... Oh. Her voice trails off into a pit. Regret and shame color her face as if she's bought, brought great shame to her household or something of equally dumb. My voice grows tense, urgent, my driving sloppy. Every pore of my clammy palm sucks at the wheel. The hollowness comes back. Marina, what is it? I kind of need to, you know. Marina wins as her mouth stretched into a pallid grimace. She clutches at her stomach and groans. You're kidding. You're paranoid. I slap my hand against my forehead. How many more times am I going to let myself get worked up over something so stupid? What did I tell you about that burrito? I know, but I was so hungry. You never trust gas station burritos, Mayor. That's one of the first rules of the road. I didn't think it would end by this. I didn't know. A flood is starting to form in her eyes. Whether it's because of pain or my scolding, I'm not sure. I ho hopefully it's both, and she takes the uh, and she takes the opportunity to learn something. Well, you're going to have to deal with it for now. The set that tank needs to be drained, and I can't do that until we get to our arches. What? Despair sits in, and the hopelessness of the situation dawns on her. I'll stop if we pass a gas station or something, but that's not going to be for a while. Despair turns into desperation. We and her friend who looks for something to latch onto, anything to help reclaim her hope. What about a rest stop? You serious? Sure, why not? I saw Zyphon in the road. Should be coming pretty quick. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. Uh, why not? Because you're better than that. No, I'm not. I swear. Please, I really gotta go. Rest stops aren't for people like us. They're for people like Mariah. <laughs> what the f- One of the scum of the earth uses them. Damn. At least that's what Gramps used to say. I've never actually been to one. Most because he refused to use them. No matter if people loving hippie like Gramps refer to them as cesspools of villainy with a seedy underbelly of humanity flocks, then I'm not sure I want to. I mean, at night, you know, light at night, sure, they can be kind of dangerous, possibly. Really, I mean, it can be a, you know what, I'm just gonna go on. Amber, her voice deepens, straining as she enunciates every single word. I don't care if it makes me scum. If we don't stop now, I am going to explode. A wave raw. But before I can counterattack, she di dives in an inch from my face. Explode, Amber! <laughs> We're going to that. We are, we are going to that rest stop, whether you like it or not. Do you hear me? I gulp and, re and reply with a shaky nod. I mean, look, looks on with crazed eyes. I never knew she'd be so scary. She backs off, and the usual pluck in her voice returns, flipping from sour to sweet in an instant. Thank you. Defeated and mildly disturbed, <laughs> I jitter my eyes back and forth and wait for the, for the exit. Who knows? Maybe it won't be so bad. Won't be the first time Gramps over-exaggerated. I'm 90% certain... Uh, I'm 90% 90, 90 sure he was wrong with the government introducing the plague to local cat populations. I'm pretty sure that's not true either. Yeah. I pull up to an isolated exit ramp which trails off into a dark lot. The lonely island is lit up by the sharp, uh, only by the sharp unnatural light of emanating from a shackling edge of the lot. 
never to more than a short distance from the building, denying its surrounding even the, even the comfort of a dim glow. Despite the eerie darkness, we're not alone. A lone big rig with a half-assed parking job hawks over the lot. Must have been in a rush. Or in my eyes, I squeeze into a parking space that isn't being highlighted by the trailer. I cut the ignition, and in the ensuing summit, scan the shattered area for anything unusual. As I watch, a silhouette emerges from the door, framed by the light from within. Uh, but before I can warn her, Marina springs from the motorhome and come out of the shack. Hey, wait, it's not safe! Without pulling the key from the dash, I launch out of the door and after Marina. What the heck? Why the hell did we end up running? The figure towers in the entrance way, kicking up gravel as Screecher stands to right behind Marina. Marina keeps jogging in place, not unable to distract herself from the inevitable any other way. Okay. As my eyes adjust, his features materialize. He stares at us for an uncomfortable period of time, the bill of his unwashed baseball cap masking his eyebrows, making his stoic expression even harder to read. The woman's bathroom is closed. He points to a paper tape in the door, the words out of order scribbled a marker. I checked. What? His scratchy voice rings with a slight twang. Dried food stain, uh, stains, uh, p dried food stain sits splattered on his tank top, his flannel unable to conceal the ripe stench. I have to force myself to not, uh, to not look away. I can't help it anymore. What do we do? 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 Relax. You still the guy's bathroom. What? Is that even legal? Don't know. Probably. Just use it. I'll keep watch. The man interjects, his eyes still fixated on us. Don't worry. I wasn't too bad this time. It should be cleared out. Thank you. A disgusted groan slips out of me. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Well, if you'd say so. Without a second of hesitation, Mira races past the man into the restroom. Her voice echoes from within. Whoa, is that a trough? I thought it was a myth. <laughs> okay. I look at the man and shrug while awkwardly laughing off Mira's comment. Why is he still here? So, uh, is that your truck? His serious expression morphs into a wide grin, showing off his sickly yellow teeth, each of it is cracked and decaying as the walls. Wiping his nose with the back of his hand, he leans against an old soda machine. Why, yes, actually, yes it is. He deepens his voice, letting the tone sway up and down. I just slip back into the accent. I can't tell if he's trying to be cool, seductive, charming, or just as a case of vertigo. Either way, I don't think it has quite the effect he's going for. Well, technic... <laughs> Tekken, actually. The trailer belongs to the company I work for. Truck, at zero to sixty miles an hour in ten seconds. That's all me, sweetheart. He looks me straight in the eyes, emphasizing sweetheart. I struggle to keep down the bile climbing up in my throat. Ah, oh, that's nice. It's very uh. I try to think of a compliment, something that'll take the conversation somewhere else, anywhere but there. Very trucky. It's very red. Nailed it. <laughs> Right on the outside, sure, but I promise you, the, that interior is pure white. He winks. If not for Rena, I would have driven off screaming into the night by now. I'm going to take a shower once we, like, once we get to the arches. In fact, he isn't stopping. Why isn't he stopping? Maybe you little friend want to see what they call it my. He slams his elbow against the subtle machine. Nothing happens. Cursing in his breath, he does it again with more force. This time a can tumbles down, the momentum sending it rolling out of the cash and across the asphalt. Pick up truck. Lame. Marina, are you almost done? Almost. You are about rest stops, Gramps. Why didn't I listen? So how about it? Presented with the option to feign ignorance or bash that against the wall, I choose to feign ignorance, but only by a smidge. For Marina's sake. Golly, mister, we really appreciate the offer, but we already have a set of wheels. Please let that work. I understand. Thank God. I took her sides and wiped the sweat from his brow. Sides, I'm pretty busy as is. After I finish this, I'm, I find myself some treasure. Oh no. Treasure? 
Yeah, you know, that gold the miner left lying around. It's all over the radio. I may have heard a thing or two about it. Crate in the weed are looking for the treasure. Just what we needed. Saw my route, so I figured why not? I'm gonna pounce it over the restroom and store it to world itself. All done. You do have a nice chat? I like your marina, and then the trucker into his truck. Yet another despicable idea wiggles into my head. One that goes beyond picking on Mariah or leaving a tour. You know, we had a really nice talk. Really? He says like he even, even he has trouble believing it. Sure did. In fact, I have to go check on something in RV real quick. Why don't you take up our left off and talk with it with good old... Uh, what's your name? The boy was in the road call me Jumbo. A bit thin for that, aren't you? Jumbo? Oh, hello. Like the elephant... Oh, God. To Marina's terror, he bears his greasy smile. She backs away and half shields up behind me, her voice softened to a whimper. Amber, I don't think I want to talk to this guy. I block my lips with my hand, lowering my voice to whisper. I know, but just try to keep him distracted. I won't be long. I'll be right back, you two. Playing up the act, I skip across the lot back to the motorhome. Wait, Amber! I fight back the invisible tears. Your sacrifice is the greater good, Marina. It won't be in vain. I'm going to leave what she's actually doing for next time. Um, otherwise, this is going to run a lot longer than I like it to. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.